Clearly, the two treatments available for end-stage renal disease today are insufficient. Dialysis is associated with poor outcomes and a very poor quality of life, while kidney transplant, there's just not enough organs available. And the alternative we are working on is an implantable bioartificial kidney. This is our prototype model. It's got two components. It's got a filtration component that filters blood, here's our mock blood, and then cleans it out and provides what would be urine in this little container. While this is the current size, our final device will be more about this size and it will be surgically implanted into the abdomen very much like a kidney transplant today. Inside this device will be silicon filters that you see here in prototype form along with renal tubule cells that will provide the biological functions of the kidney. The funding from NIH has come through the quantum grants program. These so-called quantum projects are designed to solve significant public health problems by pushing forward technologically based solutions. Along with NIH, we've had significant support from the patient community and the FDA. To get the bioartificial kidney into clinical trials, we'll need to rely on these partners and bring in new ones to arrive at our goal.